So um, like we were just saying, uh, today we're going to learn how to balance um, redox reactions. And hopefully you can look up here and see that already that this is a redox reaction. Um, the way I can tell really quickly is because the oxidation number of chlorine here is negative 1 and the oxidation of chlorine here is 0. So I know the oxidation number changed, so that means I have a redox reaction. So these types of redox reactions is kind of a hairy one. So some of them you can balance normally, but um, some of them are you're unable to balance normally. You're going to have to do the what we call the half reaction um, a way of balancing these types of uh, redox um, reactions. So anyways, um, like we were saying, uh, we know which species got oxidized. So it's, let's write the two half reactions. So the oxi oxidation half reaction would be ClAQ goes to Cl2AQ. And notice it's not balanced. We're not balancing it yet. We just want to write the two reactions. Okay, then the reduction reaction. is the other portion of the reaction. So the Cr2O7 2 minus aqueous platinum goes to Cr3 plus aqueous. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see that neither one of those equations is balanced as in the types of particles on either side of those equations, right? So what am I saying? Here, we've got one chlorine on this side, but here we've got two. Does everybody see that? So we need to balance that, right? So just like balancing a normal equation, we put a two as a coefficient there. Okay, is everybody okay with that one? If you look down here, you see we've got two chromiums but we've only got one on the product side, right? So similar thing as we did uh, previous, we're going to put a two as a coefficient there. So that's pretty straightforward. That's just like basic balancing reaction. Now the problem starts to come in when we look at these oxygens here. So on the other side of any of these reactions, we don't even have oxygen. Okay, so in these redox reactions, when you see something like that, what it's telling you is that this is going to be a redox reaction where you need to add water to, or add acid to it, and you're going to make water as a product, okay? So, in other words, I see that I have seven oxygens here, and I know that I have to have water as a product. Water has one oxygen in it, so I'm going to need seven waters here. Does that make sense? Okay, so, yeah, now, now hopefully you see that the hydrogens are not balanced, right? So, we're going to have to do something about that, okay? If you recall, and if you don't, that's okay, because we mentioned it just briefly, right? But hydrogens, when we're talking about acids, right, they're H pluses, are the acid um, component of the reaction. Okay, so that's what we're going to put on this side of the equation is H pluses, like that. But hopefully you see we need 7 times 2 of them, which is 14. And we're going to make those 8 waves. Like that. So this is still the reduction. Okay, so the last thing we have to do with these half reactions is balance the charge. Remember I said when you have a charge on one side of the reaction, you have to have the same charge on the other side of the reaction. So hopefully you see over on this side we have a negative 2 charge, right? But on this side we don't have a charge at all. Does everybody see that? So in this case what we're going to do to give ourselves negative two charges, we're going to add electrons, okay? To 
get a negative two charge from electrons, we're gonna have to add two electrons. Does that make sense to everybody? So what we're going to do is put a plus two electrons like that. So now what hopefully you see, we've got a negative two charge over here and a negative two charge over here. Okay. So let's look at the bottom here, right? We've got 14 pluses minus 2, so overall that's going to be a plus 12, right? Over here, what do we got? 3, oh sorry, 3 times 2, so that's plus 6, right? So in order to make this charge balance, we're going to have to remove 6 pluses from here, or in other words, add 6 negatives. Okay, because we're adding electrons, that's how we do this. So we're going to want to add six electrons here. Does everybody understand why we're doing that? Okay. So plus six electrons. And now the last step, so now I guess six minuses, two minuses, 14 pluses, like that. So now the last step is that we need both of these path reactions to have the same number of electrons being transferred, okay? So this one has six, do you guys see that? And this one up here has two, okay? So we're gonna have to make this one six as well. So in order to do that, we're going to have to multiply by three straight across, okay? So just like in an algebraic reaction, a chemical reaction, what you do to one of the things, you have to do to all of them. So in this case, we want to multiply this by 3. We've got to multiply everything by 3. Is that okay? So now I'm going to erase these little charge and put it here and write our, our final oxidation half reaction. So it's going to be 6 Cl minus AQ goes to 3 Cl2 aqueous plus six electrons. Does that make sense to everybody? Any questions on something like this? Okay, so now the last step we're going to do is figure out what the final reaction is. And in order to do that, we have to add the two um, balanced half reactions, okay? So what you want us know is that when you're adding, adding these two reactions, the amount of electrons should be the same on one side as it is on the other. And remember, if the, you have the same thing on one side as on the other, they can be canceled out, okay? So we have six electrons here and six electrons here, so we can cancel those out, okay? And now all we do is just add everything up to give us our balanced redox reaction. So in other words, the balanced redox reaction is going to be what? 6 Cl minus AQ plus 14 H plus AQ plus CR two O seven two minus AQ. Do you guys see where I got all that stuff from? Goes to three CL two AQ plus 2Cr3 plus AQ plus 7H2O.
So the first thing you want to look at is, is this a redox reaction or not, okay? So remember, that was the first thing we figured out when I said, when I looked at this chlorine, I said, it's a negative one, this one's a zero, so that's a redox, right? And then when I realized I don't have all of the atoms on both, the, the same type of atoms on both sides, then I knew I had to do something weird to it, okay? okay. So it's because these oxygens were here, I realized that I had to put these waters here. Does that make sense? And from there, you know, the H's had to be put over here. Does that answer, does that answer that question? Okay, are there any more questions on that? Okay, so you will have to balance some of these for the next exam. I'll do um, another example on Friday, and hopefully um, maybe we'll have time to do one on Monday. Okay? Good job, guys.